Yesterday you testified that on the night of the murder, nobody could have left the estate after Miss Betty did. In fact, she was the last one out. Is that still your testimony? Yes, it is. But you're not positive, are you? I believe I told you once before, Mr. Mason, I'm paid to be positive. Yes, you did. But you told the police you saw Mrs. Clayman in Mr. Wade's house long after the other guests had gone home. She was there, all right. I saw her come running out of his bedroom just before he went and took his final swim. You didn't see her leave the estate, did you? No. Now, would you look at that young blonde lady seated in the second row? Miss Henderson, please stand. You recognize her, do you not? Yeah, I know her. Wasn't she one of the cocktail waitresses employed by the catering service at the party? Yeah, I believe she was. And she left with the catering van after Miss Betty did? No. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe she did. Mr. Moretti, you testified earlier that from the time Miss Betty left to the time you discovered the body, only two to three minutes had elapsed. Yeah, that's pretty close to the time. But you're paid to be positive. Isn't it true you delayed the catering van's departure at least eight to ten minutes while you tried to hustle Miss Henderson's telephone number from her? Eight to ten minutes? Excuse me, but it's never taken me eight to ten minutes to get any girl's phone number. Eight to ten minutes, Mr. Moretti. The gate guard, the van driver, and Miss Henderson will all testify. Maybe it might have been a little longer. It was a little longer. Thank you, Miss Henderson. Mr. Moretti, if I now understand your testimony correctly, 